Hey guys, um, woo, finally got it to work. Okay, so I know I'm going against lighting, so everything might seem really bright, like I have on purple, but it looks like I have on gray. But y'all know me, I ain't editing nothing. Let's just get it cracking. Okay, so today I was sitting in my kitchen, like today, right now, and I'm like, mm, there's nothing to do. I'm just sitting here drinking tea and it's kind of quiet and I have to go do some errands and then I have to go to the gym and I'm like, you know what? Why don't I just make a video? Because y'all know me. I'm like, I'm making a video in an hour and it'll be like a week later. My apologies. Just know that that's the way I work, okay? I don't know. Me and timing just have an issue. I feel like I'm up in the spirit world somewhere and it's like, come down to earth and take care of business. So here I am and today's video is going to be about visions the reason being is as i was getting ready um there was, was like a few days ago i was getting ready and i went into a vision and whatnot and i'm like you know what i remember when it was so hard for me to understand what a vision was because just like many of you i didn't have many examples to go by so my examples to go by were i know this sounds so stupid but television okay so i'm watching like medium on lifetime or i'm watching ghost whispers which is my favorite and when they get in visions it's like oh i'm here and you know james van prague the famous medium wrote uh ghost whisper so i'm like he knows what he's talking about but i'm like my visions don't look like her visions like she's in a whole different world and there is something that happens when you're in a different world and it's a vision but I think a lot of people don't know exactly how it shows up. So do you want to take a guess what a vision looks like? What it might be? Okay, I'm going to just tell you because I can't hear your guess. So it's a daydream. Okay, I don't know. I get excited about this. I don't know if you're like, duh, Ronnie. Well, I get excited about this because for the longest, I thought my visions, I didn't know my visions were visions. I just always said, well, I just daydream a lot. And I had a client the other day and I was reading her and I was able to see that she was clairvoyant. And so I said, do you receive dreams and visions? And she said, no. And I was like, do you daydream a lot? She was like, oh my God, all the time. And I'm like, that is a vision, okay? So now here's the thing about daydreams. Whenever you intentionally go into a daydream, let's say you're like, I wonder what my life would be like if I lived on a beach. Like, I would just love to quit my job and move and just live on the beach somewhere. And then you go into this blissful daydream. If you stick in there long enough, other things will begin to happen in that daydream. And that is a vision that is coming through that daydream, okay? Your daydreaming is activating your clairvoyance. As soon as you start daydreaming, third eye activated, okay? So as you sit there, you just watch things happen. Now, another thing that always confused me whenever I would have daydreams and I didn't know they were visions is I'm like, okay, well, if this is really a vision, then why aren't there other people in it? It's just like me and my family and friends. Every now and then there would be a random person, but it's not exactly how it is in life, okay? So let me give you an example. I was reading one time. This is when I started to figure out, oh my God, okay, this is really what this is. So I was in my room, I was reading, house was quiet, kids were at school. And I had a quick daydream. Like I just went from reading, and I'm sure many of you do this, you're just reading and then you go off into another world. Well, I went off into that other world really quickly and I fell and I hit my knee. Like I fell and I looked down and my knee was bleeding. And when I picked my head up, there was kids everywhere. Okay, so didn't think nothing of it. I went back to reading, just snapped out of it, and I went back to reading. Well, later on that day when I went to go pick up my daughter from her school bus, her and her best friend were together, and her best friend had actually had a bandage on her leg. So the bus driver was explaining to her mother, you know, she fell on the jungle gym at school. And when I heard it, it immediately took me back to that vision. Like, I was, like, right in that vision again, and I was like, oh, my God, that's what's happening. Okay, but again, it, it was me that fell from the jungle gym. But if I used my common sense, I would have known that it was a child because there were other children around and it was a jungle gym. What the hell was I going to be on a jungle gym? So it just takes some deciphering, just like when it comes to your dreams. You're writing down your dreams, and as you continue to have dreams um, and you write them down, you'll start to see similarities in symbols, okay? These symbols also carry over to your clairvoyant readings and your visions. So if a cross, um, like a red cross to me whenever I'm doing a reading, 
I know that that person has the gift of healing. Doesn't necessarily mean they're a nurse. I know that they have the gift of healing. They may work as a nurse or they may be a pastor. They may be a counselor. They have the gift of healing. So um, that transfers over to my visions. If I see that red cross in my vision, same thing. Now, if I see a Bible, I know that that person was religious. When I see it in my dream, it's the same thing. When I see it in my visions, it's the same thing. So if you want to strengthen your clairvoyance, strengthen your third eye, then allow yourself to get carried away into a daydream. And I will make a video about manifesting because Sheldy is a perfect manifester. Ooh, I could manifest anything, okay? And there's a trick to it. And it has to do with your daydreams. So I'll make a video about that later. Um, but for now, go into your daydream. Allow yourself to drift into the daydream. And now that you know this, if you didn't already know, then you can be more mindful as to the things that you're picking up when you're in a daydream. So when you're doing the dishes or vacuuming, because that tends to happen a lot with me, anytime I'm doing anything routine or driving, I shouldn't be saying this on camera. Like literally, I'll get in my car and I'm just driving. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And then all of a sudden, I'm just driving. Doo -doo -doo, and I'm like, I be stopping at red lights. I stop at stop signs. And I can't help it. It just happens. And I get home and I'm like, how the hell? I don't recall the last three blocks. It's like I'm on autopilot, and I know I'm not the only one that that happens to, okay? I've never been in no accidents, and I never will be, speaking that. But anyway, it happens. When you're doing anything routine and you're clairvoyant, you will slip into a vision. So be mindful that that is happening and try to recall what you've seen when you were in that vision so that you can later begin to decipher the things that you're seeing. Um, so yeah, that's it. Your visions look like daydreams. Your daydreams are visions. And like I said, if you have an intentional daydream where you're just like, you know what? It's been a really tough day and I just want to lay back and see myself in a beautiful place. Then do that. And as things start to manipulate themselves in your picture, that is the vision coming to you because you have opened your third eye and now everything that you need to see in here, it's, it's, it's there, okay? Um, also, there was something I was going to tell you. <sighs> oh yeah, the dishes and vacuuming. Um, let's not do it when we're driving, okay? But when you're doing routine things and you happen to slip into that daydream, also reading a book, okay? Go get a book and read it. You'll slip into that daydream, into that vision very quickly. But when you're doing routine things, you know that you're about to do. So if I'm about to do the dishes and there might be something that I want to know, I will ask, okay? So I am having issues with this or I lost my keys. Oh my God, I love playing this game. If I lose my keys, I'm like, where are my keys? But because your mind is always trying to figure it out, you need to occupy the other side of your brain so you have to do something and as you're working with something with your hands um, you know using that left side your right side left whatever I'm not thinking about it right now so um, you'll get really busy and then the clairvoyance will start to open up so I kind of like always track down things that I lose by doing it that way but what I'm saying is before you're about to do something routine and you know you're about to go into a daydream ask a question that you need insight on and most likely you will receive a vision that will give you the answer also if you work out I love this I put on my music I go to the gym and I work out and I swear I am in full daydream mode and this is a wonderful thing that I do to help manifest a desire. I constantly put myself in a daydream. I give myself a certain amount of time and I listen to music and I just let it appear. So working out is one way to quickly get a vision. Um, specifically like the treadmill or the elliptical, something where you're constantly doing the same thing, okay? And just listen to music and allow your brain to relax. Don't think too much. It will automatically happen, okay? And like, I'm the chick that's at the gym and I'm on the elliptical and I'm like, and my friend's like, dude, dude, what are you doing? Like, oh. like I'm the weirdo. I'm all like looking at the ceiling, smiling. I'm like, I'm somewhere else. I'm on a beach. Oh, y'all struggling to lift, uh, lift them little weights. I'm good, okay? I'm on a beach somewhere. So that's what happens. So try working out if you want to um, really strengthen that third eye and you want to experience more visions. Do something routine where your body is busy so your mind can be free. Oh, that's good. Keep your body busy so your mind can be free. Okay, that sounded good to end it with. Um, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to go run my errands 
and then I'm going to go to the gym. And yes, I have on makeup and I'm going to the gym. I used to always talk about them people. Why do you wear makeup to the gym? Why do they do that? I talked about them so much and I judged them so much that I guess my soul needed understanding. And a bad little trip of getting waxed. Oh yeah, got a little something waxed. And they totally screwed up. So now I gotta put makeup on it till it clears up. Oh yeah, that's what I get for judging. That's what happens when you judge. Don't judge. Now I'm the chick that goes to the gym with makeup on. At least for the next couple days, okay? Because if it doesn't go away in a couple days, I'm going to be richer because I'm going to sue the shit out of somebody. So until then, I will see you guys later. And I hope that this video has helped you. And just so you know, I do get all of your comments. Like I said, I don't know what's going on with my Chromebook. But whenever I comment right under the video, it does not go through. So I have to go um, into video manager or whatever and find wherever I can do the comments. So I'm still waiting to do that. But I have received your comments. I love you guys. Like, I'm gonna get a shirt that says, I love my YouTube followers. Like, oh, I love you guys. Okay, like really, I think about you. I'm like, you gotta make another video, okay? You got your subscribers there. You got your, you're like my family away from family. I just truly, truly am so appreciative of all your support. So I hope you guys have a good day. Love and light. See you guys later. Bye-bye.